I am Koa, and I welcome you to join me as I explore a handful of dive sites in the Pacific waters of the Gulf of Papagayo, just off the northwestern coast of Costa Rica. This video will identify a number of species dwelling in and around the rocky reefs atop the continental shelf. My friend Ben joined me for our underwater explorations in Costa Rica. After 20 years of friendship and many adventures, Ben and I had yet to go diving together, so we were very excited to embark upon a journey in Costa Rican waters. Our host, Sirena's Diving, with head dive master Bobby Joe and our dive master in training, Renel, led us to some wonderful dive sites. The oceans of our world spawned the very first life forms a few billion years past. Hundreds of millions of years later, life on land was only able to flourish once photosynthetic microorganisms, or itty bitty plants, within the oceans produced and disseminated enough oxygen into our atmosphere. The genesis of our ancient aquatic ancestors has gifted us life beyond this magnificent blue expanse. Perhaps the most easily distinguishable fishes in our waters are the rays. These cartilaginous fishes descended from sharks. Their bones are made from cartilage. Here the round stingray, or manta redonda, rests motionless on the benthic sand, waiting until nightfall to begin its hunt. This species exhibits various colorations on the dorsum, or back. The oscillated electric ray, or bullseye electric ray, is a small fish easily recognizable by the large eye spot on its disc. These little guys are capable of producing an electric discharge for defense. Eels are also fishes that stand out among the others, almost having the appearance of marine snakes. This panamic green moray is safely wedged between some rocks with a friendly pair of panamic soldier fish. Those black sea urchins look a bit too close for comfort. And here we find another green moray. This one is sharing some housing with an octopus. Both will be waiting until nightfall to rummage the rocky reefs, searching for crustaceans and small fishes to prey upon. This chameleon wrasse, or senorita, seemingly wants me to examine the undulated moray hanging out in its territory. The Mexican hogfish, or vieja de piedra, exhibits sexual dimorphism, meaning that the males and females have very different coloration and patterning. This is the female, with the linear black bars, yellow fins, and two black dots on the caudal peduncle, or base of the tail. The male is mostly green with a vertical yellow stripe. Artificial reefs can be formed by many sunken objects, or as we see here, a sunken engine block. This small discard of mankind has given a home to a number of species. We can see a Cortez angelfish, or Angel Cortez, with a yellow band, and the juvenile Cortez angelfish is the smaller, bluer fish with the five yellow bands. The king angelfish, or Angel Real, has the white band, and a female Mexican hogfish is present as well. We can also see a three-banded butterfly fish, or Mariposa de Tres Bandas, and there is an orange side triggerfish, or Cochino. Larger wrecks draw more inhabitants. This aggregation of freckled porcupine fish finds refuge within the hollowed hole. A starry grouper rests here as a Pacific Creole swims past. Yellow spotted grunts also make an appearance. Even this echinoderm, likely a sea cucumber, finds a home in the sunken ship. These female Mexican hogfish swimming with the king angelfish are the harem of usually one male. This gorgeous Popeye Catalufa occasionally ventures from the deeper depths, but not much research has been done on the species. This false fire urchin is also a marvelous looking creature. Can you see the fish here? Take a close look. 
This specific spotted scorpion fish is a master of disguise. With cryptic camouflage, it waits motionless atop the rocky reef, blending in perfectly with the surroundings. When an unaware fish ventures too close, it will rapidly thrust out its jaws, creating suction, absorbing the prey into its mouth. This fish has venomous spines, so be careful not to step on one or place a careless hand on the reef. You wouldn't have a very good day. Habitats like these are always lively, changing appearances and inhabitants daily as transient creatures travel to and fro, and the permanent dwellers constantly vie to maintain their territories. A pair of three-banded butterfly fish are off on some errand. This triggerfish and these porcupine fish have found safe nooks in the crevices of these rocks. A Pacific Southern Stingray is browsing the benthic, perhaps searching for a midday meal. Bobby Joe is signaling a trumpet fish, a shy species seen off in the distance. Signaling is very important for divers underwater, as verbal speaking is not possible, except within an expensive intercom system. Ben is giving the signal for rays, but I think he means, this is sweet. Diving is a great experience, truly unworldly. I am an ambassador for our aquatic creatures, and I know that once you dive amongst them, a greater appreciation of their existence results. Sirena's diving offered excellent guidance, education, and professionalism, making our underwater exploration in Costa Rica veritably excellent. Their contact info is in the description below. More to come from Costa Rica. I want to share my absolute favorite day while I was snorkeling in rough waters along the coast, to find myself sharing the water with a large group of eagle rays and two other species of rays. Plus, I'll give a summary video with some tips and must-dos in Costa Rica. Keep loving the beautiful chaos of nature. Mmm, rico.